suppose the integral from minus 1 to 7 of f of x dx is 16. The integral from 3 to 7 of f of x dx is 12. And the integral from minus 1 to 4 of f of x dx is 20. Find the integral from 3 to 4 of f of x dx. Well, let me put all this information on a diagram and hopefully it will help me understand the problem. So here's an x-axis and here's a function f. I don't know what the function f actually looks like but this will do to help me solve the problem. So let's see the information we've got. We've got the integral from minus 1 to 7 of f of x dx is 16. So from minus 1 to 7 and this is the integral from minus 1 to 7 here and that answer comes out to 16. So 16 there. Next we have the integral from 3 to 7. So let me put the 3 in and this area is 12. 12. Next, we have the integral from minus 1 to 4. So from minus 1 to 4, and this area is 20. Twenty. And finally, we want the integral from 3 to 4 which would be this area here. That's the area we want. So that's all the information in the question. Hopefully we can figure it out. Let's look at our diagram and see if we can use it to figure out anything at all and hopefully eventually the, the area we actually want from 3 to 4. So let's see. Well, I have the integral from minus 1 to 7 here and I also have the integral from 3 to 7 here. So if I do the integral from minus 1 to 7 minus the integral from 3 to 7, that should leave me with the integral from 1 to 3, minus 1 to 3 here. So the integral from minus 1 to 3 of f dx should be equal to the integral from minus 1 to 7 of f dx minus the integral from 3 to 7 of f dx and the integral from minus 1 to 7 is 16 and the integral from 3 to 7 is 12. So that answer is 4. Well now the same kind of argument should get me the integral from 3 to 4 because look we have the integral from minus 1 to 4 and we have the integral from minus 1 to 3 so if we do from minus 1 to 4 minus from minus 1 to 3, that should leave us with from 3 to 4, which is the bit we want. So the integral from 3 to 4 of f dx would be equal to the integral from minus 1 to 4 of f dx minus the integral from minus 1 to 3 of f dx, which is equal to so from minus 1 to 4 is 20 and from minus 1 to 3 it was 4 so that is 16 and that's the end of the problem